Scorpio, what's cracking? Welcome to Swimming Through the Void. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure to show some love and hit that thumbs up. Subscribe. This will be a reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, First House, 12th House Placements, or wherever Scorpio may resonate at your chart. Keep in mind the roles can be reversed uh, and to only take what resonates and leave the rest. Spirit, what do we have for my Scorpios? I was feeling some sort of like kind of anxious energy too, tapping into you guys. And it looks like um, maybe going through a little bit of a rough time. Maybe some deceit around you. Oof. You got the death card. There's your card, Scorpio. Yeah, it looks like maybe some secrets. Somebody holding on to something too tightly. Somebody holding on to something from the past. I feel like there's... My Scorpios have really been going through it. Got a lot of major arcana here. The death card, the high priestess, the devil, the moon. A lot of secrets a lot of things hidden there's somebody keeping a lot to themselves or holding on to something like really keeping it inside this may have to do with a relationship i'm seeing the uh the ten of pentacles over here the nine and the ten of pentacles um so maybe somebody's in maybe you're in separation right now or something like that because uh, I'm getting like, that's my card of being single and uh, yeah, a lot of heartbreak here, Scorpio, a lot of stress, a lot of heartbreak. I'm going to get some clarification on what this could have been. Some sort of cycle, some sort of cycle, you guys, that really, really caused a lot of pain a lot of sadness, a lot of imbalances. Somebody here was not uh, on their highest path here, is what I'm hearing. Somebody here was not walking in the light uh, in the past, being deceptive. Um, a, lot of, a lot of secrets, a lot of secrets here, maybe lies. Um, and a lot of this toxic, I'm just, this is like, this whole reading feels like just super toxic. And then on the split again, we have that three of, this is out of control is actually what I'm hearing. This is out of control. So, um, let's see what's going on here. I do see the six of swords. So, I mean, you are moving to through this, these hardships. Um, I see somebody's really stuck in their head stressing out really stressing really bad um to the point where their thoughts are keeping them bound their thoughts or whatever this past whatever somebody's really really stuck in their head <clears throat> really kind of blocking everybody out right now um this is about the seven of wands and the strength together this is really about being strong right now my scorpio this is about being strong and knowing that you are on your path of destiny, all right? Whatever's happening around you, whatever you're going through right now, this is meant to be, all right? Um, spirit wants you to sort of just go within right now and block out all that external stuff. Also, sort of be in the moment. Try to be mindful of right now. Don't let your thoughts tie you up like this um it happens to the best of us but this is not the energy that you want to be in my scorpio this is all about uh focusing forward this is about offering love um offering um apologies offering uh your heart to somebody but what i'm getting from this card wow it is about offering some sort of new beginning some sort of apology some sort of um give and take here for this new beginning that's going to bring balance 
um, passion, happiness, joy, no more feeling left out in the cold. Like this, my Scorpio. I'm gonna grab you guys some advice. I'm hearing um, from your heart, from your heart, so. Wow, Tower, Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords. <clears throat> some, Yeah, somebody uh, wasn't telling the truth here. My throat chakra is just going ham right, <clears throat> right now, you guys. Um, somebody needs clarity. So just know that this tower moment right here, whatever's crashing down, whatever's got you in this funk, it has to come down. I'm getting that it's karmic. It's some sort of karmic cycle um, that needs to be worked through and let go of, okay? This needs to be moved on from, moved through. So I do feel like you are right now, look at don't lose focus, keep going it is a cycle it is a cycle keep growing keep learning keep studying keep working on you on your stability on your self on your finances all right don't lose focus on what's really important here what's really important here scorpio because spirit wants you to even if you can't see it right now focus on it make the decision that you want um you know, clearly make a decision in your head and focus energy on it, visualize it, write it down. Um, because even if you can't see it right now, there is it, there is something coming your way and probably even by the full moon is what I'm hearing. Uh, some type of <clears throat> truth, maybe some type of decision, some type of victory, some type of victory there's something big coming your way right now uh scorpio i'm getting right now i can't really translate what i'm getting but i feel like um the sum of this situation is going to be like in some way wrapped up by the full moon it'll be to fruition i do feel like you will be winning here this is the card of a victory it's a card of success six of wands celebration Yes, I did it. Um, look at happiness, family, love, stability. All right. Learning lessons. Learning lessons in this journey of life. This is about moving forward with ideas. And uh, some of you Scorpios are out there really learning right now, really leveling up, whether you're taking um, classes uh, or workshops to do that i just really feel like a, a level up with this eight of pentacles and this page of swords this is like new ideas gaining knowledge gaining wisdom learning putting these things into order i do feel um like i said i'm feeling probably by the full moon scorpio in a few weeks uh this is going to be better or you're going to have been made it through this um you're in sort of the rebirthing process right now and i feel this energy like it's heavy as hell it hurts um but this is releasing all right you are moving through this moving past this eight of cups to that sun to the nine of cups look at i can't make it up guys i can't make it up this is abundance love joy all right this is walking away from this sadness all right and the sun is on the horizon there look at brand new cycle again the sun over the horizon this desolate sad fucking depressing energy is over with so try not to focus on it look at keep your focus on what you want to come to fruition keep wishing on that star my Scorpio, it's coming your way. Be strong. You got this. Um, be honest. You know, make smart decisions. Um, step out of your comfort zone. Just stop holding on to whatever you're holding on to so tightly. Sort of, you know, let the universe, you know, everything happens for a reason. It's all planned. All right. So look at your situation right now. Look, and instead of looking at it like this, look at it like this. A little bit of a change in perception 
and you'll realize that whatever this was, was a blessing in disguise that's bringing major transformation here. You're moving from one whole energy into another entirely different energy. Look at free yourself, Scorpio, free yourself. Free yourself. <clears throat> Scorpios trust oops this one wanted to come out too. keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations healing family issues your love life benefits as you um, forgive your parents and you've already met the romantic partner that you seek so I feel like whatever this is keep an open mind um, step out of your comfort zone trust that this situation is going to unfold the way that it needs to on this soul journey for you all right stay positive as hard as it fucking is stay positive scorpio stay positive fake it till you fucking make it gratitude list even if you gotta you know we have a voice in our head that's constantly constantly talking all day long and we sort of like live in that voice. You know, we take it to be our own self. Um, and it's not. And a lot of times, especially during with energy like this, Scorpio, it's really easy to get caught in that. And that can be devastating to your health, you know, to your spiritual health, to your mental health, to your physical health. Um, so even if you have to, like I said, fake it till you make it and stop that voice, do some meditation, do some praying, you know, calm that voice down in your head and switch it out for a new one. You, you get to pick what goes on up here. You know, at first it's really hard because our minds don't stop and we've been so programmed to just be in that all day. But when you start meditating for real and you start focusing on your breath, you realize that this thing up here is, it's not you. Um, and by using this thing up here, your your visual techniques and your self-talk, you can actually manifest the future, the life that that you want. The one that this Ten of Cups here. All right. And just know the universe is bringing this blessing to you. All right. I'm going to grab you guys one more card here. Summer. Yeah, sun. Ram. So this is about taking action. And this is about the sun coming out. All right. This is the spring and I'm just getting that things are blooming. Like, like I said, it's not really blooming. It's more like um, they're unfolding right now. It's a rebirthing process. So you got the death and rebirth card too. And that spring card. I feel like this message all ties it together um, really nicely. My Scorpio. So, um, do what you got to do. Stay strong and trust and believe that your happiness is coming. Okay, tons of healing here. Tons of balance coming in. Um, you just got to step out of your comfort zone here. All right, you can do it, Scorpio. I love you. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up and uh, subscribe. I'll catch y'all on the next one.